Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm recording this episode right after the other one. Back to back to back episodes. But in this episode, we will be going to Elden. And after necessary preparations. So, let's go ahead and go. Bro, the Beatles air shop almost gave me a jump scare. I thought a person was coming around that corner. I'm being so... This woman. Um... Gukuyo, Gukuyo, where could that child have gone? Gukuyo, where, where did you go? What happened if she'd been kidnapped? Oh, well, like. What perfect timing, you you haven't seen my Gukuyo, haven't you? Nope. I see, I see. Please, like, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I asked everyone I could find for help, and a few people have said she's been spotted with unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they, though they, they though, thought they seen her carried off by a monster. A monster. She has been kidnapped. She's a cute and friendly. Some someone must have just walked off with her. Find Cuckoo, please. Please, it breaks my heart to think so she's somewhere out crying. You got it. Uh, right, yep. Hey. Alright, guys, so change of plans. We're actually before. So, next episode, we'll probably hey. go to Elden, or this episode, we'll start off. We'll end off in hey. Elden, but let's go ahead and go find Cuckoo. So, now what you can do is you can go around talking to people, asking about her, and then. There's a guy at the Lumpy Pumpkin that you can talk to, the old guy that you can talk to, but we we don't want those. I left my marker there, I didn't realize. <coughs> <coughs> but, we're just gonna go straight to the graveyard, this is not the graveyard. Oh, wait, we have to go at night, sorry. Um, I think the first time only works at night. Oh god. <laughs> Tonight. So we're gonna sleep tonight. In the morning. Oh, at night. We're gonna wake up at night. Then we have to go to the graveyard. Okay. So, if you talk to the guy, the old guy, the one, he will say, the, the monster struck, um, struck this one and pushed it. So what you want to do is you want to hit it with your sword and then push it. To open this. So, and he also said it's the one nearest to the tree. So there you go. Uh, go on the ladder and then you can just press B once you're on. Eek! Stop, please, I beg of you, don't hurt me. Matrix. I think that's the name, Matrix. Whoever. Oh, goddess, I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you, I mean no harm. We were just playing the, the scream as loud as you can game. Uh. Isn't that a fun game? Oh, dear. Perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Matrix, and I am a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. Please allow- Please- but please allow me to correct one possible mi misconception. While I'm certainly a monster, I would I would dream to be terrorized the people of this, this town. 
You see, th this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood curly scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I've felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But, as you can sh surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzed fear at the more mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would f fill my heart at with joy more than to be friends with, with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw to friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. Oh, right, silly me, I've gone in ahead of myself. You see, there is an old tale among my monstrous kids that goes as follows. Uh -huh. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the hum the happy humans pr produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. Mm -hmm. Gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just look looking at them, or knowing and knowing there was m such gratitude in the world could turn me into from a monster into a human. Uh. Oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become a human. From the moment I laid my reg regrettably demonic eyes on you, I tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Wouldn't you please gather gratitude crystals and show, show them to me? Sure. <laughs> Truly, you'll help me. This is one of my favorite characters in Skyward Sword. I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their problems. Mm -hmm. And it could also be be merely lying around here in Skylop or somewhere among the clouds, any anywhere you'll find people. I'm sure someone with a heart pure as a heart as pure and generous as yours will be able to see them. If we saw some some trouble troubles and gather me all all the gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide will be dearly uh, appreciate. I promise your assistance will not be unrewarded. Unrewarded. Alright, so there's a total of 80 gratitude crystals. Ten, 10 of them. Some of them we can get now. I think you only get like 5 right now. But some of them um are just laying around Skyloft and then uh, the rest of them are uh, quests that you have to do with a buttload of people. And to get a total of 80. He's not a bad man. He saved me one time when I almost fell off the edge. And he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyways, he said it was dangerous to go out at night. So I'll just I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. Okay. So... Later in the series, we will eventually turn him to human, and yeah, so I guess we'll just start off with getting some gratitude crystals. We're gonna go start off by getting some gratitude crystals, so we're gonna go start off over here, and we're gonna grab our first one if it's, okay, yeah, it's sitting right here, so, so one gratitude crystals. I think if you get 10, he'll be happy. And you can only see the ones loose on Skyloft at night, so we're gonna go grab them real quick. I think there's one up there too, which we can't get because we need a future item. There's one in the Zelda room, we can't get because we, we need a future item. Um, well, we're just gonna go ahead and head into the Knights Academy. Actually, before we go into Knights Academy, we're gonna go over here first. Alright, gonna grab our beetle. And you can see it from here. Go up, go up, okay. Nice. Now we want to 
go up. And then we want to go in here. Now, I think it's bottom floor. Nope, top floor. Grab this one. This one was large. There's one right there. Alright. Four so far. Grab the ruby. And I think that's all we can give for right now. all we can get for right now. I'm trying to remember all the places. There's one in Zelda's room. Uh, okay, yeah, I know where there's one more. I know where there's at least one more. Two more. Two more. So we're gonna go grab those real quick. Yep, there it is. Turn to the right and boom. I know there's two, that's not possible. <coughs> Alright. Now for I think two more. Yep, two more. Uh, we need to go to the end of the waterfall, so I'll see y'all guys when I get there. I should have stopped recording, but I'm not going to. I don't feel like it. to the end of the waterfall cave you, there's one directly to the left right here it's gonna put you at seven now you go straight this way now you go to where your loft wing was there's the eighth one And then, as I said, there's one, like, directly above me, but you need a future item. And then, um, there's one in Zelda's room. As I said, again, future item. So, I guess we'll go ahead and head into Zelda's No, not Zelda. Elden. I'll see you guys there. Yes. I don't even 
not how long I've been going for. Actually, before we head off to Elden, you want to go to this house that's right under this nest thingy. Go to this house. And then once we're in this house, what you want to do is you want to sleep. Until morning. Kukuyo's back safe, and you get five gratitude points. So for every problem that you um, do um, for a person, you get five gratitude crystals. So right now you can get well thirteen so far. I don't know if there's more or less, but yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and head off to Elden. Oh, what you gonna jump off? Master, this is Elden Volcano. Approximately 65% chance that the region is covered by lava. 75% of the region is covered by lava. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, okay, she's still talking. Alright, but. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Probably a little bit of a shorter episode because, well, we didn't do much. So, we're gonna go ahead and head out. And in the next episode, we're gonna make our way through Elden. And then make it to the temple that you can already see, which is a cool temple. But, we're gonna go ahead and head out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.